Right, but what I'm telling you is, is we're going to go after your qualified immunity, and you guys should have something here backing up the unlawful orders that you're giving the public. Because what you're doing is giving me an unlawful order not to enter this building unless you can show me the law or an executive order backing you up, and you don't have that. That doesn't exist. So you're basically just making a decision in your own minds not to let me into a public building. That's a violation of my constitutional rights. How's it going, guys? I'm against it Press, and we are coming to you today from the Public Safety Building in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, this building houses the police department, the Pennington County Sheriff, and the jail facility, which is just around the corner here. Um, I'm out with watching the watchman today, <clears throat> and we're gonna pay a little visit on these folks and find out if they honor and respect our constitutional right uh, to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. You can see the jail building there in front of us. We have Old Glory waving in the breeze as she should. So let's take a walk around and uh, see how these folks are doing today. Time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, July 14th. It is 12.49 p.m. and 64 degrees and sunny in Rapid City, South Dakota. I'm sorry, let this one lady go by. Yep. Free at last. I don't see any other uh, signage, right? Uh, let's see if there's any publicly accessible areas here. So, Pennington County Jail Complex expansion, 2006. Needed more space in the jail. Or maybe they just modernized the facility or something, I'm not sure. So this is the same side that was outside. So should we see if we can take a look at the uh, lobby here? Somebody asked me if they can help me because I need a lot of help. <laughs> How are you today? Doing well. Good. So we're just actually we're making a little video on uh, 
visitation, what's going on? I guess you guys are still under the order that there's no in-person visitation here at the gym? Right, currently there's no in-lobby visitation okay. uh, due to the COVID. And is there any anticipation of that? Is there an expiration date in the near future or no idea? It's no idea and not until we kind of get a handle on the crisis is, as you obviously have been paying attention to news, numbers are increasing again, so we just don't know. So they say. So they say. So they say, Correct. who knows, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, are the numbers are the numbers of inmates increasing or are they decreasing? You guys about the same as normal? Just normal. Normal. Yeah. Normal business day. Yeah, yeah. Normal business day. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's a shame they can't get visitation. I know. I'm sure the guys in there look forward well, to that. We we do offer them the online visitation. Is that something that now? Let's say somebody doesn't have internet access. Can they come in here? And is there a computer um, to use here? Or? Uh, and, and that would constitute a lobby visit. Okay. Because that's how these work and. So it's got to be done from outside it the facility. It does unfortunately have to be online with internet access. Gotcha. But again, public library, you can use their computers with right. with the forward-facing camera. They do have them here at our library in town. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, I appreciate the info. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. And can I just ask your name and what you do so, here? My name's Steve, and I'm a staff assistant here, one front front desk clerks. All right, good. Well, my name's Jason, Steve. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my nice son, Ben. Ben, nice, ben, nice, nice to meet you. All right. Well, we appreciate you being professional and cordial. Oh, means a lot. We've never yeah. been in your city before yesterday, so. It's all good, sir. It's yeah. all good. All right. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Well, enjoy your time. Anything you, you can tell us about the city? Anything we should see? A couple of guys from Colorado need to check out? or Go check out Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse Memorial. Yeah, we're going to both of those today. Check out today. the Black Hills. We have beautiful lakes here. Any, any of those. Excellent. Yeah. And right here in town, Canyon Lake. It's Canyon nice. Lake. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, How far is that? Take Canyon Lake Road. Just keep heading east. Okay. Or, excuse me, west from here. Heading west. Yep. Canyon Lake. All right, we'll go check. Is it a big lake? It's virtually big, yeah. Is there, like, recreation on it? or? Well, there's, like, a little gazebo in the front. You can kind of walk around it. Cool. And stuff. All right, it's very nice. cool. People fish out of it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, glad we ran into you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Have day, a great guys. day. Take care. So normally these would be, is it all right if I just look here for a second? Uh, yeah. You I'm not going that way, yeah. You can't go past the, the metal detector. So anything up to the metal detector is fine. Okay, good. That's Thank fine. you. Appreciate yep. it. So normally this is where visitation would happen, um, but they're under an order uh, because of the things that are going on in the country today, and uh, it's only remote visitation that's allowed at this point, so uh, inmates are not allowed to come in here and visit with people, and uh, they're not sure when that will be uh, vacated and when things will go back to normal. So here's the metal detector we're allowed to go up to. You're not allowed to take these items into the jail. Have some locks here. Professional visitors, I guess that would mean uh, attorneys and that sort of thing. Please be prepared to, ask, to be asked to clear the metal detector after approaching the control room. No visitors will be allowed admittance unless cleared. Cell phones are strictly prohibited. Ooh. All right, guys, so that was the jail building. Um, that was absolutely a pass, no question about it. Um, not only were we allowed to uh, visit the publicly accessible areas and uh, take video slash photographs, um, but we were also given some good information. And maybe we'll go check out Canyon Lake, who knows? But we're going to go check out the rest of the facility here, so uh, stick around. All right, guys, so we're going to go inside the uh, public safety building here, which is the uh, Rapid City Police Department and the Pennington County Sheriff's Office and see how they're doing today. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? Good, how are you? Good. All right, so sign check. Only thing is no smoking. We've, uh, we've already been over that. 
Mr. Watchman, sir. So tobacco use of any kind is prohibited. And that's it. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Oh, we're just taking the tour of Rapid City. Okay. Yeah. Where so are you just from? To Colorado. Okay. Yeah. First time we've ever been here. Yeah. Yeah. So we uh, like to visit the municipal buildings and mm -hmm. talk to the folks with their feet on the ground and <laughs> making the wheels turn here and just you know yeah. see how things are going. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with other law enforcement or just? Are you with other law enforcement or just? Am I with law enforcement? No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm just curious. No, I'm with my son. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the only publicly accessible area of the building? Or? It's shut down right now, um, mostly because of the COVID. Okay. Um, so we're just being real careful. Okay, well, we're not sick. Um, what areas do you want to see? I mean, I can... Anything, see if there's anybody that can give you a tour. Anything that's publicly accessible, not interested in any restricted areas, anything like okay. that. Nobody's personal office, but any publicly okay. accessible areas. Um, if you can hold on for just a few minutes, let me help this lady. Sure, absolutely. And then we'll see if we can get somebody to help you. Appreciate you, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. Sir, have you been helped also? Everybody's looking for those concealed applications these days, huh? <laughs> they seem to be, yeah. I will Nothing wrong with that. We're not having any luck. Um, and if it doesn't say anything specifically about... Because, uh, I was actually because of the virus and stuff, they are trying to keep everybody out unless they have a, a true business purpose right now. Um, not that we're trying to keep anything from you, but just trying to protect all the people that are working in the So it is something that the discretionary thing? Well, it's if you have a business person, so if you had a I don't have an case or something. Anybody, but this right. is my business. Yeah. So yeah. It's yeah. my business. Yeah. And we, we did travel yeah. a long ways to come here. Yeah. 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 So I, I don't know who, whoever's in the position that can make that decision. Mm -hmm. they, is, or you know what? Is there a public information officer available? Can you be the sheriff or the um, Probably. Maybe I could speak to one of them. Okay. Okay. No, no I appreciate is, your help. No, what's your business name? I mean, do you, are you doing this for business or pleasure? I'm not doing it okay. for business as far as like making money business type okay. of thing, but this okay. is, it's a business to us and we handle it like a bit, and this is what we do. We travel around and I'll be happy to explain in great detail what I'm doing to a PIO if there's one available okay. or somebody. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we're leaving the town in a couple of hours. We came in yesterday. We're only here for okay. one night. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He's just outside the building, so I don't know where he is. No, I got you. And I appreciate you going but, through the motions no. and making the effort for us. I yes. appreciate that. Thank you. No. Um, I really am trying to get you No, I know you are. No, okay. and I, I'm being sincere. I really okay. appreciate right. you asking and trying. Okay. I know it's not your call. Okay. Um, but so the only other thing I would ask you is if that's the case, and we'll get out of your hair, can you give me a copy of the order that is not allowing the public into the building? Yeah, I can see this. I don't know if there's a judge's yes, order, an executive order, or... Yes, yes. I don't you don't remember? It's uh, 510 North Campbell Street. So what we're doing, guys, is if uh, the public's not being allowed into the building here, I'm just trying to get a copy of the order so we can read it and find out exactly what it says and see the specifics of it and establish the fact that there is an order. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Hey, you're allowed in. I am. <laughs> We're in the right uniform. There you go. Where can I get one? We are. We are accepting applications. Not from a guy my age. How are we doing? Hi, good. She just filled me in real quick. the ball into your court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I'm good for. So, Probably a smart one. Right. So you're looking for a, a policy? Is that is that my understanding? No. What we're looking to do is visit your public yes. building. So evidently, we're being told that there's a situation where you're not allowing the public into the building. Right. So then my right. question was, is there a PIO or somebody we could speak to 
um, this nice young lady checked and there was nobody available. Right. So then at that point I said, okay, well, we'll get out of here and leave. Uh, could you just give me a copy of the order not allowing the public into the building so that way when I leave I can just take a look at it and sure. see what the well, actual, you know, because right. you and I can say whatever we want to say and sure. I just want to read the specifics of it and right. well, see how I, it's I, written. We, we don't have an internal policy that, that says that. We, we implemented this policy. This, this internal policy, you know, once COVID hit, just to try to make sure that the public was safe and we, and we were safe as well. So we, I don't have, I don't have a copy. Of so it's policy. not an executive order. Uh, no, it's not an executive order, and it's not a judge's order. No. So then, it's a request. Nope. It's a, it's a policy that we are internally following by the people that have authority over this building. And who signed the policy? Uh, as I said, it's not signed because we, we don't have an actual. So then, technically, you have no policy. I, I just told you we have a policy. Can I see a copy of it? I, it doesn't exist. Well, that's it, see, there's it, the issue. It, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time. Well, I, I, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but please that. don't take it that way. Sure, I, I uh, appreciate this, that. The but, reason that I'm here, but, and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Sure, sure. The reason that I'm here is this is my son, mm -hmm. okay, and we travel the country. Sure. Okay, finding out how each municipality is handling what's going on in the country right now. Sure. And if the Constitution of the United States is being honored, respected, and held up. Sure. So if you are not allowing the public into this building, and just hear me out, I'm, you personally, I'm not trying to give you a hard time at sure. all. We're sure. just talking it out, like right a couple yep. of people here. Yep. Um, so don't take it that way. So if you're not allowing the public into the building and there is no policy, signed document by either a judge, a chief of police, a sheriff, the governor, there is nothing, then basically what you have is a request for people not to come in. Because okay. how would you, what, what, if I decide, well, let you me what, ask you a question. If I, I decide to come in right now against your wishes, what would you charge me with? Uh, I, would, I would not let you in because we, we need to be sure that everybody here is beyond this point is, is but safe what, and what would you charge but here, me here, with? But here's what I'll in. do for you, okay? okay. What, whatever I can help you with, if you have a, a need on any floor of this building, if you need to visit with our detectives or our police officers or anybody, I can, I can accommodate whatever you need. Okay, but that does not involve making making you the you know available to come to anywhere in this building. We have well, it's a public building, and there is no order. There is no. You just said just uh, entertain what I'm saying. I, I get it, but but what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to tell you is I, I I know that you come here uh, looking for. I mean, you're saying, hey, I, I, I'm not looking for a no. See a now, you, no, no, no. I, I think you are. No, now, and, now that's and that's I'm you just, looking for. And I'm, and I'm just that's not, I'm just not going to entertain it. Is all. Okay. No, you're not. You're so, not understanding what so I'm you're, saying. So you're Rich. welcome to film if you want, okay? But unless you have business on, I do on have another business. floor, tell me what it is, and I'll accommodate. I'm you. interested in speaking with a PIO. I'm interested in visiting a public building which has no order preventing me from doing okay. so. So, so I will. I will certainly get that that message out, and I'll have them give you a call. Well, I'm only here. For, I came into town yesterday, and we're leaving today. So I'm only here for a day. Okay. We drove. I'll have, I'll have them give you a call. We drove before the end almost of the day. a thousand miles to get here. Okay. Very good. So them calling me later is not going to do any good. But you have to well, understand what I'm saying. Well, listen, I, I do understand what you're saying. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying that we have a policy and we're not we're not going to let people just walk by. So here. I'm asking to see a copy of the policy. And and I'm not going to we, we don't have one, so I'm not going to show it to you. So you're saying in one set you're saying you do have a policy and then you're saying you don't. So which is listen, it? I, I, they I know can't you, both be true. I, I know you do this for a living, and, and I know you you try to engage people, and I'm, I'm not. I'm no, not, no, I'm not, I'm you to can be, ask this young lady. If I've, I've, I've been very respectful. Listen, no, and, you're not going to turn that around. Too. No, 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 you're not going to turn you, around on me like I've, that. I've I'm told sorry, you. No. I've told you our policy, and, and this is what it is. Okay. I, I need so to see. Thank you. I need to see your. So if I walk in right now, what are you going to do? You can't come in here. What are you going to charge me with? You can't come in here. What are you going to charge me with? You can't come in here. What are you going to charge me with? You can't come in here. What if I do? What are you going to? What will you do if I do? I, you know, I'll probably have to make that decision on the fly. So will you place me under arrest for coming into the building? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So should we find out? Uh, do you want to find out? Is that, is that what you're looking See, it looks like you're, you're No, what I would like to do is be able to visit a publicly accessible I'll, building, and, which and has I'll, no water preventing it. And, and I'll get you whatever you want from that. I would like to go walk around the building. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I, I will have a, I will, I will get your request in to the, the people that make those decisions. No, but I'm here now. Well, I'm, I'm not available to do that right now. To do what? Uh, contact the people that need to make that decision. What decision is there to make? You're a lieutenant. Yeah. Okay, so is your chief available? I don't know. So can we find out? Maybe I can I, speak I'll to the chief. I can. Why don't you have a seat? I'll, I'll, stand, right I'll stand, but I'll wait. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. On, uh, and I really do appreciate you seeing if you can get somebody for me. I'm not, I feel like you're trying to give me a hard time. I don't feel like I'm trying to give you a hard time at all.
And the easiest way to handle it is, is let me just walk through the building and I'm out of your hair and goodbye and it's over with. It's like going to the doctors to get a shot, it doesn't hurt. It's quick and easy, painless, goodbye, done. And you upheld the Constitution. You took an oath, you swore an oath to the Constitution. You need to uphold that oath, it's very serious. I'll be back in touch, okay? Do I wait for you? Are you really coming back? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, if you don't come back, I'm walking into the building, so I would suggest you come back. I don't think I've been unreasonable at all. I think you guys are trying to keep the public out of the building, and you have no basis to do that, and that's what the problem is. That's where the, that's where the anxiety comes from. If you had an order, you'd hand me the order, and I'd walk out the door. There is no order. There is no policy. It doesn't exist. And the public pays for this building. This is a publicly accessible building. And I don't know what your position is. I'm not even going to ask. I don't know if you swore an oath to the Constitution, but I know these two law enforcement gentlemen did. And I think South Dakota is, uh, has a reputation of being a very constitutional state. So I'm not getting that experience right now. Like I said, if there's an order in place, I will abide by your order, and I'll go fight that with City Hall. But if there is no order, you can't show me any reason why I can't walk into this building, then what's the issue? And I think you probably agree with me if you weren't at work. And I'm not asking because I don't want to put you in that position. Yeah. 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 You have the right to ask your questions and do what you need Oh, to I have do. a right to walk through this building, too. Well. Unless there's an order saying I don't. And then we can fight that. Not here. Mm -hmm. In a court. But, you know, if you can show me something that a judge signed, a sheriff signed, a chief of police signed, you know, the constitutionality of that would be up for debate, but at least you would have an order in place that would give you the authority to stop people from coming in the building. Without that order, there is no authority to stop people from coming in. It's just somebody just made that decision one day and everybody's going with it and the public falls for it and I'm not that guy. That's all. And I follow the rules. I'm 50 years old, never been in handcuffs in my life, and I don't plan to start here today. But I don't plan to give up my civil rights either. I understand where you're yeah. coming from. No, and I appreciate but it, and I really you believe do. you do. I think if we were, uh, if we were having a soda together, you'd probably have a lot more to say. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. And this gentleman's the smart one here. He's not saying anything and not getting involved. <laughs> and you know what? I just really, I really want to tell you that I appreciate you for the compassion you just showed to that woman that was in here. And I was purposely turning my camera away from her. Okay. Not to, but I've been in situations where I've seen a lot of police officers not have that compassion for people and not act that way. And I commend you for that and thank you for that Thanks. on her behalf and all of our behalf. And I hope you maintain that throughout your career. That was for. Um What, may I ask what rank you are? Patrol officer. Patrol officer. So Bob, when you, just absolutely well, dance in the parking lot. If you keep the York. attitude that you have right now, young man, you're going to grow up and you're going to be a high ranking officer and you're going to be able to pass that on to your charges and we look forward to that happening. All right. Totally All right. So I was wrong. You came back. Yeah. I, I eat crow. No, nope, you don't need to. So here. Make sure that's on. Your red light's not on. It is. Okay. Yep. So the chief is not available right now. Okay. But he will be available by appointment. If you want to give me your names and numbers, I can have him reach back out to you. But since you have no business in this building, you cannot come. Oh, I do have back business. Here. I do have business. You, you have no business beyond, you know, what what you're talking have you, about have right you now. Have you asked me what my business is? You told me what it was already. I would like to, at this point. I would like to file a complaint with the sheriff's department for not being allowed into this building. Okay. You, so and, that's and official you, business. And you can do that. You, you can do that from right there. Yep. You don't have to come into the building to do that. Who do I speak to? Um, I can take a complaint on that. For the sheriff's office? Yeah. You're not a sheriff. Uh, we work close together. I can take that. Things seem to be done very unofficially around here. You have policies that don't exist, and you're taking complaints would for you, departments you that like you're not to, a member of. What's your name and number? I'll, I'll start taking that complaint from you. Yeah, we're not going to go that route. OK. All right, do you want me to relay your information to the chief? No, I'd like to take a look at your building, because I'm here okay. now, and there is no order preventing me All from right. doing that. So, so you can't do that. And, uh, okay, so what know, happens if I do? If you come past this line, you will be arrested. I will be arrested. Yep. Okay, well, based on the threat of arrest, I will not enter the building. Because I'm, I'm 50 years old, never been arrested in my life, and I'm not going to make the first time today with you. So I would like a business card from both of you gentlemen, please. And I will take it to your higher-ups and file formal complaints, and we'll see you in court.
And you're violating, I just want you to know that you're violating my constitutional rights right now because there is no order in place. You can stare at me as seriously as you want. You should be paying attention to what I'm saying because I know what I'm talking about better than you do. You have, okay. no, you have no idea who I am or what I do. No, okay? I have no idea who you are. And you my gentlemen are both going to lose your qualified immunity. I'd like a card from you as well. That's my card. So I'd like your card. All right. I don't have it with me right now. Well, then I need you to write down your name. and. I did. It's right there. Right in the back there. You can compare it to my name tag. Can there. you put your badge number on there, please? Sure. Thank you. And I want you guys to know you're violating your oath to the Constitution that you took. You should take that a little more seriously. Do you understand that? Seriously, like I'm just trying to have a human, con I'm respecting and I'm not going to come in and get arrested. So I've already told you that. Okay. So I'm not looking to push boundaries here. I'm asking you what I can do. You've just told me under threat of arrest, I'm not allowed into the building. That's fine. Okay, so we'll take it to court and we'll deal with it that way, which is no problem because you guys are in court every day anyway. But what I'm telling you is, is we're going to go after your qualified immunity. And you guys should have something here backing up the unlawful orders that you're giving the public. Because what you're doing is giving me an unlawful order not to enter this building unless you can show me the law or an executive order backing you up. And you don't have that. That doesn't exist. So you're basically just making a decision in your own minds not to let me into a public building. That's a violation of my constitutional rights. And I'm going to take that to the end of the earth. So I've advised you of that now which is part of what I need to do to make my lawsuit successful. Okay, and like I said, you guys don't know what you're, the mistake you're making. So I'm just gonna give you one last chance to let us take a quick look. I'll even make it easy on you. Let me just go through the lobby here on the first floor for 30 seconds. We'll walk out and you'll never see me again. Otherwise, we'll see you in court. No. Okay, well that's your decision. Okay. How do I reach the mayor? Or do you have a city manager or a mayor? That's for you. You know, we, we gave you our contact information. I'll, I'll write the, the chief's number. What I mean, is the mayor's too. office in this no, building? No, no, but you could you could do a simple Google search. I'll find it on my it. own. That's no problem. All right, so just to make sure I have it right, you are James J.J. Johns. Correct. Okay, very cool. And you are Mark Eisen... Eisenbraun. Eisenbraun, lieutenant. And what's your rank, sir? Captain. Captain. Okay, very good. Well, appreciate you guys. I wish you would honor your oath. It's a for lack of a better word, disgusting thing to do to take an oath and then not back it up. Okay, you know I'm right in the back of your mind because you know you don't have an order. I told this gentleman if you could show me a policy, an order. See, you're yawning. It's the yeah. con Do you know what's going on in this country right now? Are you are you awake? Sir, we're not do you, seriously, do you understand what's going on? Conducted I'm in conducting this building. business right now. Mm -hmm. You're done. Oh, you I'm not leave. done. You need to leave. So now what are you We are done. done. If you fail to leave the building, you'll be arrested for failure to vacate. So right now, I'm offering you the chance to get out the door. So it's just this, I'm leaving done. or am I being trespassed? You're being trespassed from this building right now. So for how long? What? I'd like to know when I can come back. For how long am I being trespassed for? You give us a call and we will work out something so that we can come back and meet you at a regular time, at a regular place. This is a regular time this discussion. A regular no, it's not. No, it's not. Sure it is. Here's the deal. You've been trespassed. You need to leave the building. Otherwise, you'll be arrested for failure. So I'm going to go outside and wait for my formal trespass. Will you bring it out to me? I will bring a letter out to you saying that you've been formally trespassed from this building. Beautiful. All right. I'll, I'll wait right outside for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. And uphold your oath if you can manage to figure that out. All right, guys. So... Here at the Rapid City Police Department, we were just speaking to James J.J. Johns. Phone number here is 605-394-4131. He is a captain uh, with the Rapid City Police Department. And if anything you just saw disturbs you, bothers you, concerns you, uh, you have a 100% right to give these folks a call and seek redress with your government. Um, we ask you to do so in a cordial, professional way. Uh, no yelling and screaming, cursing. If you're going to call them up and uh, let them know that you're not happy with what you just saw, we ask you to do that constructively. And uh, you have every right to do that. So we would invite you to do so if you like. And we're going to stand here and wait and see if they actually bring me out a formal trespass letter. Uh, and just so you know, the first gentleman, the other guy's name was uh, Lieutenant Mark Eisenbraun. Uh, badge number 395. 
See, and, uh, just real quick, guys, I just want to let you know, that's why I offered, I said, listen, at the end of it, just let me take a quick walk around the lobby for 30 seconds, I'll get out of your hair. Middle ground. I was trying to reach some middle ground with these guys. Um, they have no executive order, so they're not under any obligations. Um, they, it's discretionary, as the woman in the beginning said, and they could have let us in. Um, but the problem with what's going on in the country right now, these guys these days, is there is no middle ground anymore. Uh, it's one side or the other, and one side completely detests the other side. No middle ground, no conversation, no meeting of the minds, no compromise, and uh, that's a problem. That's a major problem. Um, it's just a shame. It's a shame what's going on in this country right now, guys. And more than ever, we need you guys to pick up cameras, get out there and film, record, um, ask questions, find out what's going on. Um, obviously, under threat of arrest, I'm going to leave when they threaten me with arrest because I'm not going to be arrested, sit in jail. Um, I want to wake up tomorrow morning, go out, be able to bring you more videos and uh, be able to be out there fighting the fight in the streets. Being in jail is not going to do me any good. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, my civil rights were just, my constitutional rights were just violated by these folks. Um, and I gave them every opportunity to uh, correct that situation. And they were not interested in doing that. So we're outside now waiting for uh, the lieutenant or the captain to come out and bring us a letter of trespass, which... Uh, Seems like it's going on now, so here we go. Gentlemen. All right, so I have a couple of uh, documents like you requested that's okay. uh, saying that you're trespassed from this building. Okay. Um, I need to put identifying information on here. Are you willing to provide ID? You can put good citizen there. Okay, so you're not willing to provide any identification? I said, you, Is that correct? have I broken a law? Are you, do you want to provide some identification? He's a minor, you can speak to me. Okay. Okay, so just for clarification purposes, then I, uh, you know, I'm not going to demand you prepare ID. You can't. But we, we do have pictures of you through our body cam that we've been watching here. That's great. And so if you do come back inside of the 30 days, uh, you can be arrested for trespassing. I think I told you I'm 50 years old. Okay. I obeyed the law. I've never been okay. arrested in my life. See, right. the problem is, is though you don't have a law to enforce here. That's what my issue is. There is no law saying I can't go in this building. There is no policy. There is no order. There is no document. There is nothing. So you're enforcing something that's unlawful, unconstitutional, doesn't exist. That's my issue. And I wish you guys would just man up and say, you know what, I get that. But unfortunately, we're in a position that we just can't let you in because that's my job. That I would understand. But when you're going to start standing there doing the staring contest thing and There's trying to be intimidated, of, uh, of I'm not intimidated by either one of you. So at the bottom in comments there, I'll just And I don't think out. the citizen should be intimidated by police. We rely on you for help. I'll just point we out that I... We rely on you for assistance. And I think you know that the, there's a huge divide between the citizen... I wrote that it said warning of trespass for 300 and Kansas City Street. Is we're working That's to try the to building right here. Line. And it's valid and for 30 days, us, okay? We might be able to do that. I'm not so, hearing a word you said. I'm in well, the middle of you a need to listen to, yeah, to what I'm telling you, okay? So this is the building, 300 Kansas City Street. When I'm in a conversation, I can't hear. So now I will listen to you. Start again. So this is this building is 300 Kansas City Street. You are trespassed from here for a period of 30 days. For okay? 30 days. Sounds yep. good. Okay. All right. You feel good about that? I don't feel anything about that. I can tell. Okay. I can tell you. guys you take care. You guys honor your oath, and we're going to make sure you do. You won't see the last of us. It won't be at this building, but you'll be seeing me again very soon, gentlemen. Honor your oath. It's a serious thing. It's not a joke. So anyway, guys, talking to these people is useless. We're going to get out of here. Uh, we have been formally trespassed from the building um, with no name, but they do have pictures of us on their body cams. Um, so we will follow up. Um, I'm obviously not, I don't live in South Dakota. I'm not going to be here for long. We're leaving town, um, but I'm going to pass this off to my attorney and uh, we'll see what he thinks about it. I'll consult with him and we'll uh, see what we can do to get some change made here because this is unacceptable. Um, and I think you guys realize um, that we were trying to be reasonable, we were trying to work with him, and as again I said before, middle ground is very important, whether it's in dealing with my son, dealing with law enforcement, dealing with people out on the street, life is all about that middle ground, guys, and we gotta learn how to work with each other, we gotta learn how to get along with each other, help each other, and uh, you know, this tyranny has to stop, because that's my issue with this at the end of the day. There is no policy, there is no executive order, there is no law, there is no statute, there is no code, there is nothing on the books signed by anyone that prevents me from entering this building except the threat of arrest from two very high up police officers. Um, 
So based on that, we're gonna wrap this one up and um, head on down the road and see what we can find for you next. We have some great uh, videos we're gonna be doing this afternoon for you. A couple of great stops, so keep your eyes out for those. And if you enjoy these videos and you like what we do and you'd like to support what we do, best way for you to do that is to give this video a like, uh, share it with anyone you'd like to share it with, and subscribe to our channels. Um, make sure you hit the all button when you subscribe and that way you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. You won't miss any of them. And uh, doing all that stuff, liking, sharing, subscribing, helps the algorithm out for YouTube tremendously. Uh, gets our videos out to more people so more people can watch and enjoy them and learn from them hopefully um, as we're out here learning. And I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. Uh, recently hit 25,000 subscribers. He's doing great. Um, I. I'm very proud of the work he's doing. He puts a lot of effort into his videos with maps and information and a lot of stuff that you won't see here on my videos. So check them out. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, that's it. So coming to you from the Public Safety Building in Rapid City, South Dakota, watching The Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.